Today, I will tell you about the best and most effective way to search for a house or an apartment in Denmark. I'll tell you the specific websites you should use. I'll tell you about the metrics you should look out for. So beyond price, beyond area of gift, things like sunshine, things like traffic noise and so on, that you can find all this information online. And then once you find the places that you actually are interested in, what are the next steps? What should you do after? This is Bolixidem, so bolixidem.dk, link down in the video description. This is the website I recommend most people to use. So there are multiple websites you can go and search for apartments or houses here in Denmark. If you just want to keep it simple, use this one. You don't really need to bother with anything else. This one is the most comprehensive, nicest user interface, has most of the information you'll ever need. So if you just need to use one, use this one. With that, let's see you now how you use it. And you have, when you log in, you see this screen over here. You can actually see the things that you have saved in the past, the, the past searches. But let's say it's the first time you use it. You can check what type of properties you are looking into. So we are going to look into Villa, which are houses, the Rekehus, which are the terrace houses, and then the Ayrali head, which are like apartments, our own apartments. So we are going to skip the Andels, we're going to skip like these summer houses and so on. But let's start with that. And also you can see for the whole of Denmark, but because we want to focus a little bit, and we don't want to go so crazy, we're just going to look into the city of Copenhagen. And when you click that, you go to this long list over here of, as you can see, 2,028 properties. So these are for sale. We can also see that there are free for option and 334 for rent, but we're not going to be focusing on that. We're just going to be focusing on the things that are for for sale. And once you open this, I prefer to see it in a map. It's a bit more intuitive. And then, yes, you can see the map. You can see it in different colors. The ones in blue are the apartments. The ones in a little this purple thing are the terrace houses and the ones in red are the houses itself, the villas, what they call it here. Once you're interested in this or this is, you know, there's a lot of places that you might not want to or be interested or even can buy any of them or all of them, sorry. You have the first filter over here, which is price. Are you willing to pay how much? What are the things that you have been have approved by the bank, right? So, so let's say the bank approved you for 7 million you see that still covers most of the properties over here, but if the bank only approved you for 3.25, you can see that the number of dots goes down a lot. There's still a lot left, but yeah, it goes down quite substantially. But let's say we say, okay, we have a budget of 7 million or uh, one more here. Oh, come on. Yeah, so, and then you can see, okay, there are more filters here, right? So then I'm going to guide you quickly on what each of them means or the ones that are important at least. So Boligaria is the size of the place. And we're going to get to the specifics of this a little bit later in the video, right? But remember, this is not the real size of the build of the property. So this is the size of the property, including the corridors outside that are not in their control, the common areas and so on. But still, it's a, big, a good proxy. I mean, a place that is, yeah, let's say we only want to look for places that are 90 square meters. And then that will also lower the number of very interesting number of rooms. So again, I'm not really too interested in filtering on this. I just care more about the size, for example. Size of the property, don't worry about it. Then what is the energy mark of the building? So the worse energy mark, the more you need to spend on heating and so on. And you can actually spend a lot of money on that. So we want to look for at least C. I mean, that's what I'm doing here, right? But again, for you, it might be okay. You can always see the impact on how much you actually pay in, in heating and so on. And we're going to get into that later in the video. When was the property built? I like new properties. I'll just put from, for example, from 1990, or even, um, let's go even 2000 to be more ambitious. I like newer properties because newer properties don't have a lot of the baggage that comes with old buildings and let's say better noise insulation and not better energy mark and so on. So just normally recommend that, but not that you need to. Then this one is interesting. This we call here Udelse here is um, what we normally call the Ayerut gift or all these monthly expenses that you need to have from a specific place. So we want, always want to not have something like that that is so high. So let's say up to 6,000, I mean, can say 5,000. That should limit us a little bit. How much has the place been in the market? We shouldn't worry too much about this, but yeah, I can say, okay, maybe we don't want 120 more well, about even let's be 60 days so things that have not been in the market for more than two months free text so yeah they put pool i don't know how many places here have pool but you, know, you can always check that as well you can see places that for example it says here please file means that there are places that had a price reduction since they have been gone online 
and you can see it's loading again and it loads only places that since they have been put online they had a price reduction i will remove that i don't think it really matters too much which floor so let's say i don't want in the first floor or i want in the second floor forward so you can actually filter that as well and yeah, there are more filters but with this you're in a solid position so out of those 2000 something that we started we limited our search a lot more and for example you can see here it's mostly in you know, over here over here that's mostly because i put new places that have been built after 2000 and of course a lot of the city is old but just to say that with these filters even before you actually start looking into the photos and spend a lot of time on that you already have narrowed your search substantially you also have some filters over here but we're not gonna spend too much time on this yet because you can see the same information when you look for a specific apartment but let's actually look for one specific one so let's check this one out for example and let's check it out so this one so clocks with get five three till benster okay so when you open this you'll still be in bolic season so when you click here to sejos mangler then you actually see the like i actually have it open here yeah you can actually see the the property in the real estate agents website and a lot of information blah, blah, but we're going to get into that in a second but i want to show you what you can see already in bolic season and it's a lot of good information and this is when i wanted to highlight that in denmark it's so transparent there's so much information which is really good so in here i'm just going to guide you quickly on what you can see so size of the apartment remember in denmark the size is not the real size the real size you can find it in you know here when you click to this hensel material then you can actually see the real size but otherwise this is the size that includes corridors includes common areas and so on so it's not fully comprehensive keep that in mind i mean we're not talking about a 50 percent difference but yeah it, you can have a difference so this place might actually not be 106 it might be like 93 if you actually count what's within the apartment so keep that in mind but it's the same for all places right so number of rooms when was it built how long has it been in the market what are the monthly expenses i remember i made a whole bit about iro gift i'll link it over here but what you should know that as well is that this are gift it's not that you actually have a bill that says okay this is what you need to pay each month but this is a, a amalgamation of taxes and a lot of other stuff that you have to pay like every year so some things are quarterly some things are biannually some things are monthly but you know, this is a overview of that and this is the square meter price you can see you can here and you can even see more information so a lot of more data on the building so again we're really lucky there's so much transparency but all right what else can you see here in bolic season you can see how long has been the, the i mean all the history of on, on sales and going into market and so on for this specific property so we see now it's on sale for almost 4.8 and it was sold for 4.5 and a bit more four years ago a bit less than four years ago so you can see the market is pretty crazy but now there's something you can see already over here and you can see the whole history back in the day so that's no normally good information so you can actually know what you are getting into the square meter price and how it looks versus the rest of the city so you see it's a lower square meter price versus the rest of the community but you now just keep that in mind as well that because this actual size of the apartment here might not be the real one this is always i would always look it with a grain of salt because if you have a lot of common areas a lot of longer big corridors as for example my building has then yeah, this, these numbers might look artificially low and you can actually will still be paying a lot of money. So don't look too much into that. How many people clicked on this? I mean, I don't think you should really care about that, but yeah, shows the interest on this place. But maybe it's people like me who are not interested in buying this place at all and just gossiping. So you know, don't worry about it. If you know, don't, don't put yourself pressure because a lot of people are clicking on a specific place. And then you can see over here as well, it's in terms of statistics, what are the other places that have been sold in the area and then whether the price that has been sold and what is the square meter price it has been sold you can also see it as a list here so in the same street and it's a small street i mean as you can see it in the map you can see the 107 so this is basically the same as we were looking into has been sold in april for 5.3 okay two floors down right but you can show okay like this price i put over here it's not absolutely crazy so you know, keep in mind but you can see how it looks back even like november last year similar place 5.3 and the fifth floor you could say but yeah it um, gives you good overview so then like when you prepare an offer 
you have something to ground on and see, okay, how it has it been looking into, especially if the market kind of calms down and it's not going up by 5% month on month, then you can use this as a good anchor. And then where he has a set, like how long has it been in the market? How long has it been as a whole in the market? I mean, this is not weighted per square meter or per price. I and mean, you would expect that the prices, the apartments that are more expensive, that have less people that are, you know, have the means to buy them will be longer on sale. Not always, but you could say so, that could happen. So and that explains the difference here. Energy and problem, I mean, you don't really care about that. You want to see the energy mark. And as I said before, it matters. But beyond that, the internet, I think they probably make some affiliate money by suggesting this, so don't really worry about it. And then you have some extra good information here. So when you open this map they put over here, you see how is the sun looking? And you can actually see each month because, I mean, the moment we get to December, there's not so much sun, right? So, and you can actually see here that in December, this place that looks west, you basically have almost no sun. If the sun doesn't shine at all, I mean, assuming this place doesn't have a balcony to the center, or if it, only if it has a balcony to the center, you could see that it gets a little bit of sunshine in the morning, and then basically that's it. Not a lot of sunshine in December. Again, okay, when we go to July, we're a bit better, right? But if you care about those things, and for example, I myself do, just really watch out on that. But something that you can see here, of course, if you're really serious about the place when you go and visit it, you know, just go and visit the different times and see how the sun is shining. But in the meantime, now this is something you can see. And one thing I like here as well is that you can see, and I will scroll a bit out as well. We're just gonna remove this sunshine thing and remove this as well. You can see the things for kids. I have a small kid. I'm interested in like, okay, where are the different daycares? And you can see here, there's daycare here, daycare here, daycare here. There's a school here. Things that, I mean, if the daycares would be really far, you need to watch out. So it's just good to know that. You also have like, like what are the, of these the free data associations here in, for example, you have the summer baths or you have the sports hall here. It's good to know what, what, are, what, are, what is close by. And then there's nice that I like over here is them, they call it the rice edit. So it means, for example, if you would be biking and this is loading, right? So. How long does it take you to bike to specific places, right? And depending on the color, you see that it takes longer, right? I'm blocking myself part of that, but you can see here that within 10 minutes, you can be in a lot of parts of the city. So it's a good location, it's quite central, and then you can be in within 10 minutes in Castellet, you can be in 10 minutes in Fredericksburg, and the further away you go, you see, okay, within half an hour, you can be in a lot of different places, right? So we can see by bike you can also see it also if you go walking so how much you can walk within 10 minutes how much you won't walk in 20 minutes how much you can walk in half an hour if you want to be central that's it's always interesting to see this again you can find this information in some other places as well right google maps and so on but the fact that you have it visually here it's very compelling to me what else you can find over here what is the closest train station what is the closest school you no know, extra good information what about the comune how much you pay in taxes remember that taxes in the would change change between comune and comune but I mean, if you're looking in the same split, there's not too much to say as well. And some extra information of the building. And yeah, probably from here, nothing else you should be focusing on. One thing as well that Bolix Eden doesn't show, and there's this other website I use sometimes called Bullyhead. We have it over here, which also does show. So for example, Bullyhead is going to change its name to Meet Him at some point. And then there's going to be a link to that, to this one also in the video description below. When you go to, well, it says here, sort by court, so I'm looking by map, and it, this is just a lot of zooming in to go into Copenhagen. We look, hopefully, the same place we were looking in before, come on. I think it was this one, yeah, this one I think it was. So when we click here to see the place, you know, a lot of the same information because I know it's public, but I have a, they have a few things here that they don't have in the policy, which are valuable, if you ask me. You can see here that you can basically calculate how much it would cost you by owning this place, depending on the loan you get. And it has a lot of assumptions. I wouldn't see too much into this, but no, it has the option. So it's good to know. Then over here, when you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and more and more and more. Here, you have some traffic lights with different things that you could say are no, relevant as well. So we talked about sunshine, right? But there's a few more things that 
you should know the risk for or the potential indications, right? So one thing that I don't like at all is noise. And here you can see, okay, this place, this place has a noise score of like 60 to 65 decibels. So you can see here is this is a street. You can see the map here, and this is public information. So you can actually find it in some other websites, but it's good that you have it here. You see that this place is on a street that is kind of this purple one, not so good. You could say that you likely have a lot of noise if you have the windows open. And if it's hot in summer and you just have a lot of noise and it really pisses you off, you might not be so happy in living in a place like this. You might be better off in an area like this or in an area like this that it has not so much. So I hate noise myself, so this is something I really look into, but again, might be that some people don't really care about this. But the fact that you can see it and be completely transparent to this is absolutely great for me, if you ask me. So what else do you have over here that is also important? The risk for if someone will be breaking into the place, the risk, how is that the water quality, we want to drink it. Also, you have the risk of floods. I mean, things like this that if you are looking for an apartment, you don't really worry too much about, but at least it's nice that you have the information. And again, you can scroll through this and see it all in detail. One last thing before we finish as well is that going back to this place we have been seeing here, when you go to the real estate agents website, if you click here where it says, Hent, I mean, here you can see the floor plan, you can see a lot of the actual information that really matters, right? What you do in this bullet season and so on is that you filter places. And once you filter places, then you can you know, go more in depth on the ones you are interested in, right? But once you do this and then you check the photos and you know, check the floor plans and okay, this makes sense to you and so on, you do this Hent Sex Materiale and what you get, and it's not for that specific building, it's for something else, you get these little booklets and this is where the real meat of whether a place is good or not, or where making a good purchase or not is. And I absolutely recommend you get these ones. And I made a whole video and it will be linked somewhere big on the screen here, where I explain in depth on how you read this. What are all the information that you can find here from the real square meter size to how much it costs you for electricity, for heating, all that information is in here. And it's super transparent. You can even see the owner of the place, what loans do they have? Is that truly crazy? It's super transparent and it helps you plan for the negotiations a lot. So fully recommended that you watch that video in. All right. With that, thank you for making it all the way to the end. All the best and good luck with the house buying.